Okay, this is the P1 paper from October 2020. Question nine, it's the last question. It's on integration. Not too bad, only six mark questions, so it uh, should be relatively straightforward. Let's have a look at it. It says, we've got a curve with the equation y equals fx, and it tells me that it passes through the point 9, 10, and then it gives me the gradient function f dash x, where x is gonna be bigger than naught. That might be important later or not. So I know exactly what I'm doing here. I've got my game plan already set up. What I'm gonna do is integrate this function. I'll get something plus c, but then the fact that it goes through the point 9, 10 means I can put x equals 9, y equals 10, or f9 equals 10 in, and I'll be able to work out what the constant is. So the difficulty is all gonna be in getting f dash x, let's make a start on it, getting that to be something that I can actually integrate. So we've got 27x squared minus 21x cubed minus 5x all over 2 root x. So that's going to be 27x squared minus, so the first thing, 21x cubed over, I'm not going to say 2 root x now, I'm going to say 2x to the half and be careful about this business with these two negatives. Nasty little bit there, might catch us out. But plus 5x over 2x to the half. So all I've really done is split this term up into over 2x to the half and over 2x to the half for the two separate bits. Okay, that's 27x squared. That doesn't change at all. And now this is 21 over 2. So x to the 3 divided by x to the half. Take away the powers, x to the... 5 over 2. Leave it as an improper fraction like that because we're going to be integrating, which means adding one on and doing bits and pieces of that. Following exactly the same process, that's 5 over 2. x divided by x to the half is actually x to the half there. Right, so I've now got it in the format. This was all f dash x, where I can now find fx. fx is just going to be the integral of all of that bit. Don't really need that line, but I've got my iPad, so I can do it quite quickly. So fx is equal to, right, so we add one onto the power and we divide by the new power. Now you could have put it straight away as being nine there, but I know I've got lots of other steps to do, so I can tidy it up in a second. This next one, add one onto the power, makes that. Dividing by the new power then, I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna do multiplying by two over seven. Now you can divide by seven over two and then do it all on your calculator, but uh, I just think that looks a little bit neater when I'm gonna be going through and doing it. I can see there straight away that the uh, twos are gonna cancel, 21 over seven is gonna cancel, it comes to three. I can do it in my head there. Don't, by all means, you know, you use your calculator to support you with those. This next one, add one onto the power, so again, following exactly the same process through, dividing by three over two is the same as timesing by two over three, and then obviously plus C. I like it written down like that because the examiner can see exactly what I've done now um, with all my steps, and so can I. So I'm less likely to make a mistake as I'm actually going through and doing it all. So 27 divided by three is nine X cubed. That's three X to the seven over two, that's five over three, x to the three over two, plus c, there'll be marks for getting that far. And then remember what we said, start this question, when x is nine, y is equal to 10, or better would be to say f9 equals 10. That's what I'm actually gonna do, just looks nicer. Uh, looks more mathematical. So if f9 equals 10, what we're saying is that 10 is equal to putting 9 in. So we've got 9, 9 cubed minus 3, 9 to the 7 over 2 plus 5 over 3, 9 to the 3 over 2 plus C. Just go back and check it. Don't say anything about, fraction, about calculators or anything else like that. Just stick it all into the calculator and work it out, okay? Um, there are things like, for example, knowing that 9 to the 7 over 2 would be do the over two bit, do the fraction bit, that's three. So it's three to the seven. 
Same thing with this one here. This would be three when we do the half. Three cubed is 27, but why bother with all that when you've got a calculator to do it? Uh, they're not forcing us to do anything. If you do do all that, I'm not gonna work all that out for you, work it out for yourself. Works out to be minus 35. And so finally, the answer then actually works out to be 9x cubed minus 3x to the 7 over 2 plus 5 over 3x to the 3 over 2 minus 35. And that's in its simplest possible format. So absolutely done there. Okay, that finishes off the paper. Hopefully that makes sense.